Long Beach Realtors and 10 Reasons Why Real Estate Websites Don't Work for Clients. The number one reason is poor design. Clients may find real estate websites to be difficult to navigate with unappealing visuals and a lack of clearly defined categories. Most websites tend to be designed to catch the real estate agent and to get them to buy the website design services of one of the companies without actually thinking how will this look for potential clients. While in the Long Beach area there's a few good websites out there, many of them are outdated and really difficult to find the right information, but most importantly, up-to-date information. Lots of old data still hanging around on there, making it confusing at best, but worst of all, people just go away from it. Clients will not respond if they find something that puts them off. And old data, inaccurate data, is a big one. Limited search criteria. Many real estate websites, they, they lack the ability to search for specific criteria, making it difficult for customers to find what they're looking for. And it needs to be easy to use. If there is a facility to search for properties, I want a house by the sea let them put more detail in there to find that house by the sea. Lack of engaging content. You see, customers may find it difficult to engage with a website if there is not enough information or content to keep them interested. You can't just put a load of houses on the front. Yes, they're after houses or a home to buy, but they want more detail, want more information. That's why they've come and you need to keep them on your website. People want to be interested. They want to find out what they need to do, how they can do these things. Poor customer service. By this, it's if customers cannot find help or contact a website, contact you, the realtor, they'll be less likely to use it. It's amazing. Many of you put your phone numbers on the first page, which is great, and it should be there. But half of them, you can't even see them. The worst thing, though, is... Yes, you want clients, potential clients to contact you, to be able to engage with you. Don't have the pop-up springing up there as soon as somebody comes onto your website. It's the biggest off-put and people likely just click off straight away. Unclear on pricing. You see, potential customers may be put off by hidden fees or unclear price instructions that you have, making them less likely to use your website tell them the information tell them that there's availability to discuss pricing but you've got to not hide things be upfront with people limited payment options if customers cannot find a payment option that works for them they may be less likely to use the website put the details on individual properties to give people an idea they're looking at the moment to see what information they can get how much something is going to cost them be up front and get it out there for them to see. This is probably the biggest one now, outdated technology. You see, websites that are not optimized for mobile devices, they need to be. Everybody searches on a mobile device now. Our modern web browsers may be difficult to use, so making customers less likely to use them. If you go on and see half the screen, people just go off it, or worse still, a lot of you uh, realtors have websites that take forever to load. It's no good. People go off, they get bored. The attention span is so small now. Okay, it was touched on in the last uh, slide there, but uh, slow loading times. It really is a, a website that takes too long to load. It not may frustrate customers, it does. They will look elsewhere. They won't stay with you. A lot of um, the realtors' websites tend to have moving visuals on the first page which slows the page down so so much it's got you've got to engage and keep them there from the moment they land on they, they say the attention span now is 200 milliseconds if it doesn't load in that time it's no good most of the websites that i look at they can take up to two which doesn't sound a lot two two and a half seconds it's too long people are gone they're away on to the next 
Okay, there's a bonus one after this. Um, but this is, we're looking at poor customer reviews. If customers have had a bad experiences with a real estate website or agent, they may be less likely to use it. Well, in fact, they won't use it, will they? And what you don't want is somebody putting bad reviews about your service anyway. So, give a good service. Okay, worse than bad reviews is fake customer reviews. Because they're out there. I've looked at all the Long Beach Realtors websites that I'm contacted in, in Long Beach. And it's amazing how many of you have fake reviews on there. They will be found out because it's quite easy now with technology. It's not that difficult. And I'll be uh, highlighting some of them shortly. So get your uh, website sorted. Stop using fake customer reviews. Okay, images and video. See, I know websites... You need a website, of course you need a website as a realtor, but people often prefer video to text because it can be easy to understand complex topics with visuals. Video is also often more engaging than text and can help to keep viewers interested and focused on the topic. Additionally, video can be more interactive and allow for more creative expression than text, allowing viewers to gain a better understanding of the material. Finally, video can often be more time efficient than reading a lot of text, allowing for a quick overview of the topic. So, I know many realtors attempt to create a YouTube channel, and there's many of you out there with them uh, who do a token gesture towards them, nothing more than that. I don't think I've come across any in Long Beach that have what I would consider a really good YouTube channel. There's a few that have um, reasonable attempts, but the vast majority are just appalling. They're never going to attract uh, clients to your business. It just won't happen. More and more people are using YouTube now as a search for everything. People are on it all day long. All day long looking at everything, including properties and including real estate agents, realtors. So you need to actually have one that works. There you go, 10 reasons why real estate websites don't work for clients. But more importantly, why you need to be looking and considering using video. YouTube now is, is huge. More people search and use this method for every type of aspect. We, as a, as a business, we do promotion for realtors and help them understand YouTube and get them getting clients coming to you. So, for more information, have a look in the description. If not, carry on with what you've got at the moment. If it's working for you, fine. If it isn't, then have a look. I know this could change things for you. Bye for now.